Good morning everyone. In today's video I'm going to show you how to divide a surface into uh, uh, points and how to then distribute those points into a quad set of points that allow later on to distribute an adaptive component quadrant system based on the division. So in this video's aim aim to you know like show you the basic way uh, for the creation of uh, a surface which is I bet all of us knows and if you don't you just go back and refer for uh, the lots of videos that I have in Dynamo playlist on my YouTube channel to have a look of how that can be done uh, what I created here is just four basic points as you can see that's based on zero zero in here so no value added to it is like an original point in here and then the second point is just 10 meter of course I'm using metric system meter and that's 10 meter away uh, in the X axis and then you know the same 10 plus 5 for this point and the last one here now then I just created a playlist and I connected those points to it as you can see and then you know you have a, a, a playlist of a four uh, point together uh, now I'm connecting this to the polygon by point and you know you get yourself a nice polygon I uh, bet uh, I bet if it's that's very basic in, again if you don't know how to do that just refer back to the you know to the, to the tutorials or the videos that I have to a really good idea to turn off those points as it's gonna affect us uh, you know uh, in the process that we are doing so that's what we want now we created the polygon and it's a continuous object as you can see uh, what we need to do here is to have a surface by patch so the surface by patch will definitely need an enclosed loop and that's the polygon to get ourselves uh, you know that uh, very nice plain uh, surface that we got in here that's very basic my point is this you know group of uh, nodes and how they actually work so we're going to depend on a very basic node it's surface dot point at parameter and it need a u value and it need a v value so in in the beginning if you get it give it any like anything like a 0.5 for this one and and then a 0.5 for that dude and you connect it to the surface it's going to give you a point based on half of the way in the u and half in the way of the v but usually you don't need that you need a u and v as in the amount of repetition of those styles as the grid here maybe here if we have five grids here we have ten grids you, as an architect we think of division as surface uh, in, a, in, a, in a subsurfaces so you know we need it to be as a blazing as a curtain panel adaptive component whatever uh, whatever you actually want to divide it to so that's not really useful for us there is lots of other uh, pre-made um, you know uh, nodes or scripts uh, some of them uh, you can find with uh, ampersand and some of them used by um, a quad panel dot uh, quad panel dot uh, quad which is really nice again so but I just wanted to show you how actually those advanced node can be you know created so instead of having uh, a specific value you need now to make a series of points and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna define a slider it's an integer slider for the U and an integer slider for the V and basically this guy is just a repetition of whatever we have so if I said I have 8 here let's just simplify that I have 4 here and I'm gonna give that value to uh, something a code block here that's gonna divide 1 over A so I'd make a 1 over 8 so it's 0 0.25 giving that to a very basic uh, series here it's a, it's a range series actually and, and this guy will just basically you know have the start point as a 0 have the end point as 1 and again the 0 is the beginning of the, the, the U and the 1 is the end of the U and then I have A here with this approximation it's really important to add the approximation. I'm going to remove the approximation so I can see, show you the mess is going to be happening without it. And now it looks like there's no mess. There's zero, the 0.25. It's just an incremental value of the 0.25. The mess is goes when you go like a crazy numbers like three. 
in a 3, it's 1 over 3, so it's 0 0.333 infinity, it doesn't end us with 1. You know, that's really annoying. And maybe when you go to 7, it's even worse. And when you apply that into the U, you know, let me show you. It's going to create uh, a nice, whatever we have here, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 it's look like. It's okay as a division for a surface, but later on we need the end point. And you can see there, there is no end point in here, and that's really dangerous. So it won't make a panel in here, so the panels uh, will be, or the adaptive component, or whatever you're going to distribute on that surface, or those quad set of points, it's going to be end here, and that will be empty and really ugly. So the first step here is to, add, to add this, I don't know, approximation. So when you do the approximation thing, it's going to generate or making sure that at the end there is a point which is a 1. And when you count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it will give you the same uh, result with a little bit of an approximation here to get, uh, you know, the, 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 the required seven, 7 panels in here. Now, now that's work as good as, as you can see, and the same thing happened here in the V, and I'm going to connect those guys here, and of course you're, gonna, you're not going to get this happy result, you're going to get something crazy like that, and because it's going to take the first one with the first one, the second one with the second one, and so on, and what we really need to do is to go to lacing, and from lacing you go to cross product in order to get this, you know, the full grid off a point. So, if you are if you are just interested in, in learning how to, you know, create a surface dot point, and I just a, a, I'm just flattening them here to get a point, straight points as you can see, for each, uh, for each one of those, it's just a list without the grouping because this guy is actually grouped them based on you know whatever you provided here as a seven or a five, as a sub listing as you can see. So the flat is really important to give you back as a straight lines, uh, sorry, straight list without the, the, the nesting here or the sublisting in here. Anyway, so if that's what you want, that's how it can be achieved without depending on an external, uh, an external uh, node. Uh, here I'm, I'm using one of the nodes uh, I got from, uh, it's Impersand, I really advise you to go to packages and you just download it, it's a free, it's really beautiful. And I, it's called point grid uh, to quad set. That's what I wanted here. And I'm going to take my points, as you can see here, they are not a quad base, and give you a quad base. And the quad base is the, the very basic for any, you know, any, any, any adaptive component or any panel to be added. So if I select the list uh, categorized here by zero, it's going to give you those four points. And those are the four points really required by adaptive component to be placed on that surface and so on. That's the second point. That's the second panel. That's the third panel and so on. So that's basically it, guys. That's that's how you do here uh, a very basic node. I think you can find it also uh, uh, quadpanel, uh, quad panel. I think. Oh no. Yeah, here. It's from a lunchbox. Again, it's really important to you know uh, download that. I'm just basically doing this, guys. You know, I'm just redesigning this one. If you, if you want to know what I'm doing. Uh, now, what I need really need to show you is you got this. Now it's it's really important to have the time to make this as a custom node. And I keep getting lots of questions about it. Lots of really, lots of people not really getting a good, uh, a quick understanding about that. So what I need, let's say that I need a, a, a custom node to take this surface you created, and then divide it for me and give me points on one side and a quad set on the other side. So beautiful. What I'm what I'm gonna do is just to select those guys, all of them. I'm gonna push them a little bit. I, that's the surface we don't need it. That's our input actually. So if I selected all of those before I I'm just just have to save I think, and then it would be really smart if I save as again. I'm just gonna call that uh, test or whatever. Now uh, I'm gonna select those guys and you can go to edit 
and then you know create custom node from selection uh, I have that already been designed so I'm gonna call it uh, dividing surface by number of a U and V panels so I'm gonna just give it that I'm gonna give it a number so 016 uh, the description I already I said I made that so I'm just copy this and I'm gonna add the description description is basically saying that that script will divide the surface according to the provided number of panels at a U and V or you can say that next and Y and it's also you know gonna generate for us uh, where is that uh, yeah, yeah and it will also generate for us the required quite set of points and uh, so you can add an adaptive component later on to them and also generate for you a list of uh, you know uh, a flattened point beautiful so that's been done I'm just gonna say where to place it and I have this one and that's the folder that I create I hit OK now all that will be collapsing and it will be replaced by an ugly uh, unorganized one custom node as you can see that's it's really not what we want because it doesn't show if you remember that we have a U on value input is just concentrating us to provide the surface only that's really really uh, not uh, good and the same thing we can understand that the point set here but it, we don't know what the value here variable here uh, and we should be clarifying that so double click on this and you can see now that the surface input that I have it's been replaced by a surface input so I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna come here and write input and I'm gonna add a new input in here and all what you you have to provide here is uh, is just to say that this is the U value so you can say this is a U or uh, you can say input underscore you must add an underscore here integer as uh, a U value and let's say it's a default of 4 you suggesting let's say 4 division here so make it equal to 4 that number is just from here to here is what you're gonna see and this is the real 4 value so when you add it you don't get error message you have a default value of a 4 do it now what you're gonna do this is the 4 that's you can see a slider and a custom notes just replace that guy in here remove do the same thing in here and instead of a U value, just say an input of a V value. And again, it's a default value of a four, so just connect them and just remove that. Now you, you ensure that you have a full input properly written and defined. Now you have to come back in here. And this point is probably okay. Well, I don't know what I call it, quad set point or whatever. I'm gonna have this here and I'm just place it here. That doesn't work okay I'm sad now quad point set yeah quad point set and that's for that's for what we get from this custom node now this guy in here we're just gonna call them a flattened a list of points okay so that's it all what we need is to save and dynamo will ask us where to save it and what to save it i'm going to keep that default name remember that this long annoying path that's roaming dynamo whatever save and i'm going to just close that it now has been saved to the list itself to the custom list that i created now if i close this guy i can see the inputs i can see defined and divided by four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's because of those default value. And now, if I hit this, uh, you can see that uh, we have two categories. I'll just come back to that. Uh, let me just uh, have a slider now to control that in a better way uh, from an external file. So any surface now, you need to divide it. Just jump in here and just make this, as you can see. and that's for this one see guys it's, it's really really nice and it's really fast and now you can control the surface and that's your custom node it's now need a surface and input proper integer for the, the u1 values now i'm going to add a watch 
here uh, node so I can see what this is giving me and come on let's see for the quad set for example we should see now a sub nested listing made out of a four uh, points inside each sub list and when you select you see that's the four points that are going to later on be uh, the point where you place the adaptive component or any curtain panel or any element that uh, or any component that actually need to be placed based on a, on a points that's uh, what we really need so it's successfully been happening the other guys is a flattened list of a points uh, you know you can select the point and add at a specific point an element that you desire uh, based on the division that you just created anyhow now that's all guys I'm gonna see you in the next video I'm gonna show you how to you know make uh, divide that into uh, an add sorry based on the division how you gonna add a div an adaptive component to each face and then how we can make a randomize uh, for the height for example for each cube and then how you color them randomly anyway stay stay tuned guys thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye bye